Hi everyone, I'm Brandy, and today I'll show you how to create a RefWorks account and show you all the ways in which RefWorks can help you save time during your research and writing process. RefWorks is an easy-to-use citation manager that simplifies the research and writing process and saves you lots of time. So instead of having to spend time manually inputting your in-text citations, writing bibliography entries, learning each type of citation style, RefWorks lets you directly upload your downloaded journal articles, book chapters, and other resources and automatically generates in-text and bibliography citations for you. More talk about why citations are so important and the various types of citations a bit later. RefWorks is amazing because it also has a lot of organization features, which keep all of your resources in specific folders for easy access and retrieval. I really recommend making folders for your class papers and projects and organizing your information that way. The drag and drop feature lets you drag in your files to generate automatic citations. This feature is very helpful for citing assigned journal articles or book chapters for your class papers. In this video, I'll show you how to create and sign into your RefWorks account, cover some of the basic features of RefWorks, such as manually creating a citation entry, and uploading downloaded documents to create citations. I'll also show you how to use RefWorks in Denison's Library Summon, how to use the RefWorks tool in Microsoft Word and Google Docs, as well as in Google Scholar, other research databases, and websites. So now that you know a bit about what RefWorks is and how it can help you, let's take a moment to briefly talk about citations in general. A citation is a reference to a scholarly, literary, artistic, or really any type of work. So that could mean anything from a song lyric, a social media post, a news article posted online, pictures of art, or a scholarly article or book. These are typically referred to as sources. According to plagiarism.org, citations differentiate to your reader, your work, writing, and ideas, and information and ideas that aren't your work. Citations provide your reader with certain information so that your reader can find the information that you're citing. So that will typically include information about the author, the title of the work, the date the work was published, the publishing company, and where the work was published, as well as the page numbers of the work if applicable. So I just cited plagiarism.org's Why Cite Sources to tell you about what a citation is and what information citations provide. I paraphrased or put their information that they wrote and worded it into how I would say it. But that doesn't mean I don't need to cite it. In fact, I need to cite it because I'm not the person who originally wrote that information. This is a good time to talk about the two main types of citation in-text citations and bibliography citations. In-text citations are the brief citations embedded within your writing and are typically denoted with footnotes or parentheses to call your reader's attention to the information you're citing. Bibliography citations are the full citations at the end of your paper and contain the full information your reader would need in order to find the resource you're citing. To wrap up, citations are important for four main reasons. Number one, they provide credit where credit is due, to the authors and creators of the works that you're citing. I'm going to directly quote what Choosing and Using Sources, a Guide to Academic Research states because it's so wonderfully worded. When you provide accurate citations, you're acknowledging both the hard work that has gone into producing research and the person or people who have performed that research. Number two, citations let your reader know where to find the information you found. Think of them like little maps for your readers to find the information you've cited. Number three, they demonstrate that you've learned about the research you're writing about. It shows that you've taken the time and effort to really learn about the topic. This grounds your research and provides your argument with credibility. Finally, and most importantly, they help you avoid plagiarism and maintain academic integrity. You do not want to receive accusations of plagiarism just because you forgot to cite your sources. So, cite your sources. This is where RefWorks really comes in handy because it will ensure that you are properly giving credit to the authors you're citing and it creates both in-text and bibliography citations for you. So let's get started with RefWorks. On the Denison University Library website, under Summon Search Box, click Citation Help under the Helpful Links section. Under Citation Management Programs, click 
create a RefWorks account link. Enter your Denison email address and click check. Then create and enter a password and click sign up. Finally, check your Denison email account for the RefWorks activation link and click it to finish setting up your account. So now that you're signed in, you will see the RefWorks All References page. Let's go over the main features in RefWorks. On the left side of the page, you will see the menu. Under My Folders, click Add Folder. This feature is so convenient because you can add folders for each of your class papers and projects to keep all of your resources and citations organized in one place. I highly recommend you do that. At the top of the page, you'll see your toolbar. Click on the plus sign Add to add a reference. You can use the Upload Document feature or drag and drop your downloaded journal article, book chapter, or other research resources to create automatic citations. I personally recommend, after downloading your articles and other resources to your computer or laptop for class, to go ahead and upload them. Do this by using the Upload Document feature to upload your downloaded resource files into RefWorks to create citations. This makes writing a paper so much easier since all of your sources for class are saved in one place and the in-text and bibliography citations are automatically generated for you. Just so you know, you have the ability to manually add in citations that you aren't able to directly upload into RefWorks by clicking Add and Create New Reference. Select your type of resource at the top of the form. RefWorks can create citations for a wide range of sources anything from a music score, a blog entry, a court case, to a book. Type in the title of your source and click the lightning bolt icon. This searches RefWorks database to find the title and citation information for your source. At the bottom of the page, scroll through the options to find your source. Select the one that you're trying to cite and RefWorks will fill in the citation information fields for you and click save. The citation will pop up on your All References page and then simply drag it into whatever folder you need it in. Let's say you're browsing research resources for an upcoming paper using the Denison Library Summon. Once you've found a resource that you'd like to cite, click the three dots next to the title. Select Export to RefWorks. A screen may pop up stating the information you're about to submit is not secure. Click Send Anyways, then click Yes. Select the drop-down menu and assign the source to whatever folder you'd like it to go into and click the Import button. If you do not have any folders created, RefWorks will add your sources into a folder named Not in Folder. Now, let's try citing a source and creating a bibliography citation. Select an article and click Create Bibliography. You will see a drop-down list of the various styles of citations, but don't get overwhelmed. While there are a lot of different styles of citation, the main ones are Modern Language Association, or MLA Citation for short, American Psychological Association, or APA, Chicago or Turabian, and American Chemical Society Citation, or ACS Citation for short. Each of these styles are used in different academic disciplines, and RefWorks has a wide range of citation styles to choose from. I recommend you click Institutional Style, because these are the styles that you will run into the most at Denison. However, use whatever citation style your professor has indicated they want you to use on their syllabus or paper assignment prompt. Now, let's make sure your citations are complete and not missing any information. So go back to the All References page and near Display, click Normal View and change it to Citation View to see your citations formatted in whatever format you've selected. You can change the citation style with the gear icon. Using Citation View is a great trick because it will show you which citations are missing information and highlight the fields that you need to fill in. If you would like to delete a citation, select the checkbox next to your citation and click delete or drag them into the deleted folder. The deleted folder will actually save your citations in case you want to move them into a different folder or hang on to them for later use. One thing that is especially great about RefWorks is that you can embed it as a tool directly into Microsoft Word. If you use Word to write up your papers, I find this to be very helpful. So to do this, open up Word. 
RefWorks works in both the online and desktop versions of Word. You should have a copy of Word from your free Microsoft Office package provided to you as a Denison student. Click Insert on the top menu bar. Then click Get Add-ins and type in RefWorks in the search bar. Click Add RefWorks Citation Manager and press Continue. Click My Add-ins and select RefWorks and log into your account. This syncs all of your references from RefWorks into Word. Click the hamburger icon, change citation style, and select the citation style you'd like to use. Again, go with whatever citation style your professor has indicated they want you to use on their syllabus or prompt. When you're ready to cite one of your sources, select the source and click Preview and Edit. And here, select either the in-text citation for MLA or APA or footnote for Chicago style, for example. Then add in whatever page number or range of page numbers you're citing and click Insert Citation. This information will go into your in-text citation. Again, double check that you're not missing any information in your citations. To create your bibliography, click the hamburger icon and turn on bibliography. Your citations will appear in full bibliography style. To add more citations to your bibliography, click Cite This on the references you would like to cite. If you need to change citation style, again, click the hamburger icon, click Change Citation Style, and click Update. If for some reason your resources aren't showing up in Word, click the hamburger icon and click Update Document to refresh your page. If you prefer to write your paper in Google Docs, RefWorks also has a built-in tool that you can use. To use RefWorks in Google Docs, click Add-ons in the upper left-hand corner and click Get Add-ons and search RefWorks and install. Once installed, RefWorks will be in your Add-ons menu. So go ahead and select RefWorks, Manage Citations, and a RefWorks panel will pop up. Log into your account and then select the folder that contains the source that you would like to cite. Click the gear icon to choose the citation style you need. Again, select an institutional style or whatever style your professor has indicated they want you to use and click update. Similar to using RefWorks in Word, you have the option to do a quick cite if you select cite this, or you can select edit and cite to add in any information necessary for your in-text and bibliography citations. Again, just make sure that you're not missing any information in your citation fields. So that could mean page numbers for your in-text citations or a publishing location for your bibliography citations. When doing research on websites like Google Scholar, RefWorks can still help you. Also, here's a quick tip on using Google Scholar. Click the hamburger icon on the left side of the web page. Click Settings and click Library Links. Search for Denison University and select the checkbox to add it and click Save. This links your Denison Library access to your Google Scholar so that you can still access articles that Denison's library has without running into paywalls. Once you've found a source using Google Scholar you'd like to cite, click Cite This or the quotation icon and click RefWorks at the bottom and select Yes, Export to RefWorks. This is a very similar process on other databases that have citation services like JSTOR. Click on the Cite icon, click at the bottom, and select Yes, Export to RefWorks. Finally, I recommend you download the Save to RefWorks citation tool in your web browser that creates citations from websites that don't have citation services. On the RefWorks All References page, select Tools at the top of the page and install Save to RefWorks and drag Save to RefWorks into your browser's favorite bar. All right, so that's how you get started with RefWorks. I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to connect with our librarians if you have any questions or would like any further research assistance. They're available at the Research Help Desk in the Denison Library. Also, if you type in Research Help into Summon and click the link, there are links to virtual chat options, a text help number, and a link to set up an appointment with a librarian. And in keeping with the theme, all of my citations are listed in the video description box below, along with a number of resources that you may find helpful. Good luck with your research adventures.